Hello, hello everybody. How are y'all? I'm here again with the mush. Can you believe? E. There he is. He's right there. He's totally not fake and totally not held at gunpoint. Real mush. But yes, we're playing the Phoenix Wright again. Uh, I'm trying to see you for the stretch. How would you? How would you get a fake? How would I you get an imitation mush? You know, you just gotta get a. You just put a mushroom on screen. <laughs> you did. You just have somebody at gunpoint, and you have a you have a mushroom where like hold this. Yeah, hold this. This is you now. This is your whole life. Live it. Learn it. Love it. Yeah, so we're on day three of this one. Ugh. Yeah, no. Today is probably the day that we'll finish the Steel Samurai. Maybe. Maybe we won't. Who knows, really? Oh, God. How did I do the accent again? <laughs> this is just a southern accent. Oh, God. But I'm so bad at doing accents. I just don't think about it. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Let me practice real quick. All right, that was a close one, huh, Mia? So right. bad, so bad. Really? Too bad, I'm sorry I missed it. Question mark? M Maya? So, what happened? Well, I think we I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Wait, did we figure out who did it? Uh, I mean, we figured out like the, like the, we figured the out the general, the general yeah. area. Yeah, we figured out he was the one who was in the Steel Samurai costume. Phoenix literally just said he figured out who did it. I have no idea who it is. Yeah. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. Because that's what people want, is super speedy cases that get resolved. So under fast. that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. What kind of communist shit is this? It's a very bad system. Yeah, also no jury. Right? <laughs> the old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's down. <laughs> Shoot her. <laughs> Get the Gatling gun. Pull the trigger. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. Go eat, you'll die. Oh, jeez. Ooh, she's alive. Should we talk more to her? Um, I was wondering about D Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manila, the director? That Sal? He's soft, a pushover, a real beta. <laughs> a real Does whatever beta Vasquez cat. tells him to. He's a super cuck. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Oh my god, he is a masochist. The dirty incel. Uh -uh. Why Not would anyone wa like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. You'll, you'll learn when you're older. <laughs> About... I don't get older. Oh, no. About Mr. Hammer. 
I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's real pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. All right, we're moving on. Let's see. Probably just go back to two, right? Yeah, probably. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Initial, initial heist. <laughs> Activating projector. <laughs> Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Well, who knows? Mommy. <laughs> Not mommy. Not again. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Mommy. Hello? Halo. Halo? Oh. <laughs> wow, please, that's copyright. We're going to get sued. <laughs> that's fine. You're a lawyer, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm not a very good one, as you've seen. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shush. Bitch. Wow, language. What did you fucking call me? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said I'm bitch. watching the clouds of Batch, I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it. Nick, <laughs> she did it. She's the killer. Obviously. My fey blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. I don't have blood, but I took some. I oh. mean, borrowed. Oh, no. Put it back when you found it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manila. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer by yourselves. Oh, oh dear. This is where Salmonella and Divasquez ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. Something wrong. I don't know. I'm getting this funny feeling. Something about this just feels odd, you know? I think it's the same dialogue we got last time. Can't say that I do. Yeah, I think... For God's sake, Nick. Just it... realize it already. You can't make me. Alright. Can we not look to the other side? Oh, there we go. Is this the same dialogue? Yeah, I think that's the same mm -hmm. idea, too. Mm -hmm. Rude. I've already figured it out, you know. I was already in my mind's palace. I figured it out. <laughs> Your mind's palace? Yeah, my mind's palace. I've gone over all the evidence. I recreated the scene in my mind perfectly. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Oh, God, not the pterodactyl. Oh, please, silly. Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. 
Good thing I have a vacuum cleaner in my back compartment. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. T. What? I can't examine the T? It's right there. This is where they had the meat in there. Okay, did, did we not need to come here? Where would we go? Uh, this one's kind of confusing. Okay. I guess they're not filming today either. Be kind of a crappy thing to film <laughs> three days after someone was murdered there. I did want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching. Dang, he just knocked us out. Oh, sorry, pal. No farts here, sorry. Didn't mean to frighten you. Yeah. Didn't mean I almost had a non-existent heart attack. Yeah, I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I was a drama kid back in high school. I see I suppose it. it's the actor in me. <laughs> Dramatic indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for the sleeping pills? No, I'm looking for the meth. Yeah, I'm looking for the sleeping pills. What the fuck else would I be looking for? Meth. Traces thereof. I mean, actors do like to snort meth, I guess. You don't snort meth, you inject it. That's cocaine you're thinking of. I mean, what? What? I mean, I don't know about what? drugs. What? What? <laughs> you smoke meth. Do you smoke meth? I thought you injected meth. No, that's heroin you inject. You do smoke meth. Yeah, you inject heroin, you smoke meth, and then you snort cocaine. Right. Don't don't ask me why I know this. Yeah, don't no, no, We don't know drugs, guys. Obviously. I am a drug. <laughs> so you're looking for traces of methamphetamine. How? Oh. For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. A science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshu, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Keep hitting tab accidentally. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. Is, is it supposed to be those green bits? So the uh, food. I don't. I don't think they're actually showing it. Oh, no, I missed the, the. So the food on this table was definitely the murder food. It killed him. Looks like it. The food killed him. I understand it all now. Terrible food poisoning. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I sh I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is <laughs> how is Beta Cuck doing anyway? Nah, he's fuck boy. You're the Beta Cuck. Ah, you win this time. Mr. Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Spilled Whoa. all over his nuts and he didn't even care. 
nuts of steel. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of fuckboy. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups? Bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? We fed it to one of our police dogs. I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jackhammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Will Powers to sleep was none other than... The victim! Dun dun dun! Bet you've always wanted to do that, huh? So That's I was the whole right. reason I became a detective. I believe that. <laughs> very My job beer is done. But you haven't done anything. <laughs> uh, the range, yeah, 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 the T bone state. Okay. Um. Empty dressing rooms like this are kind of lonely, aren't they? I'm sure Mr. Powers will be back soon. What, what the fuck was that? Well, He'll what? be back. Yeah. Is it this? Mr. Powers' bag? No, no, no. Okay, so there's still nothing in here. Where do I go now? Hmm. Oh, well, now that we know. Now that we know that. Like now that's proven that Hammer did that shit, we can we can tell the old lady that he's a scumbag. Oh. Um, this old bag. What do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. She doesn't care. Sad life. I thought for sure, maybe you have to bring up Mr. Hammer again in the talk section. I know you have to, like, tell her. Um, you sure? Hmm. At some, at some point, you have to talk to her about how you found out he did it. You should talk to him first. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And can you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left until you're dead. <laughs> Let's make it count. You won't be dead, he's going to prison, my. I get your facts straight. Well, he's going to die in prison. Hey. Yes. Oh, there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> oh God. I did something like a single squawking. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez, please? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine before we had to. They're gone. They're gone. Well, you see, we were. Global Studios was on its knees, and we were pretty desperate for money, so. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and, uh. And what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. I, I've only heard rumors, Eddie. 
Can you tell me about can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. He brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. I mean, I think they do anyway because of the whole raw chicken thing, but you know. You know. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. He's a little bitch. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. Ah, good joke. We all know that man can't jump. Oh, why? Because of his because of his skin? That's no. racist. What? <laughs> Wait. I didn't say that. I, I could tell what you were thinking. Everyone knows that southern people aren't racist. <laughs> I can imagine him being at her beck and call. Though I can't imagine him jumping. See, even Phoenix thinks that. My lawyer is so racist. I'm not racist. He's just fat. <laughs> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. Samurai's gone wild. He oh just God. gave up being... <laughs> he just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago? We got it all. We understand it all now. Mm. Actually, you probably can. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way for me to help you. Sorry. Oh god, the sniffing, not the sniffing. Okay, maybe now? Nope. I still don't want to think. No thinking? Alright. That's what you do best. Uh, we haven't gotten into Studio One. Oh, we can't, right? Why am I so skinny when I eat all these donuts every day? Yeah, she runs a lot, trying to catch children. <laughs> you know, for an old person, I have a pretty damn good metabolism. What? What do we do now, though? <laughs> oh. Uh, that's a good question. Um, um, at some point you talk to the old lady again, but I, I don't remember what we do in between then. It's a good question. I think that we need to do something. To talk to her. Okay, and then it's not in this one either. Nope, okay. Good dog, Miss Olbag. <laughs> Good dog. Good dog. Yeah. Hey, pal, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> Boo, did I scare you? Or assistant, all right. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, not the pterodactyl. I really thought this character's dialogue was already over. <laughs> They're the killer. Hello. God, it's even worse. What are you doing here? What? 
why? My WP is innocent. My, how can you understand what the pterodactyl's saying? <laughs> how could you know? <laughs> Please translate. I'm a robot. I can understand all sorts of languages and dialects. Steel Samurai. What? No! More talk. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. No! <laughs> On the day of the murder. Sorry, I can't understand a word you're saying, so I'm just gonna keep going. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Studio 1. He stole the Seal Samurai costume, too. <laughs> the rumor. Some dirt. What dirt? Hmm. Um, I know what dirt means. Studio two. Accident. This is audio poison. <laughs> the film set. Was that trailer part of the film set then? Wait, now I'm now I'm understanding what she's saying. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? What do you mean, the last steel samurai? Could I be a pterodactyl whisperer? <laughs> Kid shows anymore. How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the steel samurai? Fuck them! <laughs> 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 what a <are> retard. <laughs> No, that can't be true. I'm gonna slap the shit out of this thing so it stops squawking. If the program Please. just ends, they'll be heartbroken. I just slaps her and she just turns into a normal girl. <laughs> it's an animatronic pterodactyl. Oh no, even <laughs> worse. Nick, 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 Shut Nick, up. Nick. Say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Uh, I guess this. Mm -hmm. Take that. A fan collected all these photographs. Oh, look at this graph. <laughs> The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Well, 
Well, for starters, you could tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Someone died. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? I see. Old bag. Thanks. We'll try asking her if she'll talk. I guess this is when we need to talk to her, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I missed. <laughs> I missed that little step in the middle. You sound exhausted. Uh, well, honestly, as I was doing it, I kind of realized that more, rather than a pterodactyl, I think it sounds more so like a squealing pig. You did. You know, you definitely did. What? You're still slinking around? You were the one pissing off the pterodactyl just now, weren't you? If you just, like the place so much, bit. why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Grabber jugular. <laughs> what? Grabber jugular? <laughs> she's not looking so good. Her guard is down and she's right for the picking. Over the jugular. Everyone's doing their best to forget about Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all new to Hammer! She's starting to frother the mouth, Nick. We must put her down. <laughs> starting to hallucinate. There's no one ever named Hammer ever here. Maybe we should keep a safe distance so we don't contract the disease. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. <laughs> Who told? Who did you hear that from? Uh, uh huh. Not the pterodactyl, that's for sure. Nichols! Who's that? I think that's the pterodactyl. N Nichols? Uh, sorry, I don't care. Change. You know, because the, uh, yeah, no, her name is Penny Nichols. Oh. Because <laughs> every character has to have a stupid name like that. It's true. Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, the assistant pterodactyl we talked to. Oh, right. I didn't know she had a name. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed the man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? Well, this is a game. No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer's, Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of... Proof. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Big costume. Take that. Take that. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. Well, what does that prove? I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. 
on account of the accident. Wait, damn it! <laughs> I got you now, old bag. Mr. Powers ate of T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Oh, fuck! I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Holtbag. Okay, you win. I'll talk. Now nah, win this time. You win this time. Yes. I'm <laughs> Say this. it again. Say it harder. <laughs> I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Old Bag. All right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo? Well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. And she killed that man. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. I feel like we were talking about something either last, last session or the session before that, where... Mm -hmm. You you said something about, or like you asked something, or like somebody said something about like being tied to crime, and I was like, Ugh. I do not remember. Been I can't like two remember. Weeks. It's it's very vague, but it's still like in the back of my mind. Uh, maybe maybe I was like, damn, she killed somebody. <laughs> but you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. His old bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. The photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Look at this graph. Wait a second. <laughs> This is the picture. Is is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on top of those stairs there. Why is he in why is why is he wearing a tennis outfit? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The other guy's wearing armor like a like yeah. a fucking samurai armor and he's just in a fucking polo shirt with a tennis racket. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. He's got like a freaking axe. You can see it right there. Like oh, yeah, a literal yeah. axe. You know, what the fuck was he going to do with a tennis racket? <laughs> but but why does he have a tennis racket? I don't get it. How did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. That's a good way to hand wave that question. That's a good way to cover up some dirty back alley mafia deals. I understand. You All won't right. believe how much dick I had to suck to get this. I can think of it. I mean, I what? I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. I just wish I couldn't. Right. Are you examine this now? No. Talk to you. Present? She just gets a gun and shoots us after we present this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's not even looking. Where? What? What? Where did you get that? Well, you have to understand. I won this time. Ah, well. Old bag. A uh, old? She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. 
Right. Anyway, Ms. Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The hum? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Does that remind me of that scene from Nietzsche Bruce? From Daily High... Have you ever watched Daily High School Boys or whatever? Daily Lives of High School Boys? Uh, oh, wait. I do know what the... I've seen that clip. <laughs> the wind. And it's just like the most awkward thing ever. I love it's that It's like the most cringy, embarrassing yeah. scene. Mm -hmm. And there's like five or six of those exact same scenes in the whole anime. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, no, I saw that one clip and I knew I didn't want to watch it. No, it's so good, though. It's so I, good. I'm not a slice of life person. I'm just not. It's not slice of life. It's comedy. It's pure comedy gold. Trust me. Mm. It's the best. It is honestly the best thing ever. It's so funny. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer, She's gonna where shoot nobody us. will hear the silencer. She's gonna shoot us. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like at this point, they should just fucking run and and call the cops. Yeah, I don't get Gumshoe in there with them or something. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Let's book it. No, we gotta go. I've won this time. Don't you understand, my? No, Nick, really. The mob will be here any second. We need to get out of here. Hmph. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Ms. Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Pammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for Petty Change. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... I like butts. You were the cause. Who doesn't you like butts? pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. Take that. What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Please, I don't know how to spell. Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Oh, uh, an accident. No, wait, <laughs> no way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Uh, where's your proof? Can you prove it? Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? I think if he would have killed that man on purpose, he would have killed you on purpose. I mean, I think that... I think, uh... I think the, the rest of the crew on set would have seen that. Mmm, man. And I ran him hard, believe you me. That sounds sus. Uh... Is that why you but wanted him in the outfit? You did some kinky <laughs> shit. The security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you say. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo? She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. Because I killed him. 
the only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. Oh god, she did bring the mafia in. Holy shit. Um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. I activate my trap card. Uh, detective. Detective, get in here. You have a gun, right? Please. <laughs> Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. H Haven. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No. My Terminator <laughs> mode. Activating Terminator mode. She just like sprays all of them. Oh shit, he oh, is here. Right there. I heard everything, pal. Ah, my trap card always works. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. All your assassins can come too. I'm no. gonna take you all there myself, cause I don't need any backup. I think I should be not like, here. <laughs> I think I should be like, nah, they can go. They're fine. They're fine. I'm standing, gentlemen. Nah. Yeah, no, they look pretty cool, actually. They look yeah. they look pretty cool. I'm going to let them go because I, I like them. I look up to them. Are they the Backstreet you, Boys like, or? You know, I'm totally not letting them go because it's just me here and I, I don't have any backup. And all I can handle is to is to take the woman. But, y you know. <laughs> you know. Huh. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. Or we could do it now, with a duel. With a Terminator. Okay. I just want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. forward to it. <laughs> Did you, I, I looked at the, uh, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Master thing that they're going out. It's apparently going to come out soon. Sometime oh, before March. Yeah, I heard about that too. It's very much like whatever the Magic the Gathering one yeah, is, yeah, but yeah. for Yu-Gi-Oh. Magic the Gathering Arena. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward... Did you see the Tag Force one? That looks great. Wait, what? A new Tag Force? Yeah, oh, I think it was a Tag... I know it was a 2v2, I think. Or No, it wasn't 2v2. It was 1v1v1v1, I think. What? Or something. Oh. I don't know. It was four people. Wait, let me Google it. Was it Tag Force? Um, Google. Thank you, Google. You always have the answers. Um, so it was Master Duel. Du no. Uh, oh, it's Cross Duel. You get a Cross Duel. Um, yeah, it's uh, a four-player dueling. Right there. I think it's 1v1v1v1, like they did in that one episode of uh, the Battle City arc. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't wait, dude. That, that looks fun. And it looks like old school oh. Yu Gi Oh! Like older school, so I'm, enjoy I'm gonna enjoy that. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh! Battle Royale. Yeah, new school Yu Gi Oh! is a little. Uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, no. I have absolutely zero interest in new Yu Gi Oh! I mean, I'll probably play the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Master, the, the Master one a bit to see if it's like, I wonder if they're going to, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it if they have the Magic the Gathering thing where you could do like drafts. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I would probably play that game a lot then if they had that. But if they don't have that, I probably will not. I'm yeah, it not looks... keen on free to play TCG stuff. Cause you know it's gonna be a cash uh, grab you know it will be that's that's what i'm i'm hoping they don't do that too much because they have duel links already 
which mm. they which I don't play anymore because it's such a cash grab. Nah, I think they're just gonna try and I think they're just gonna try and double their money. Yeah, they might. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at Tag Force though, and it, it it does have some new school cards in it. I saw some uh, X Y Z cards, mm. but they also have like abilities and stuff. I think it's gonna be a little different. Like it's gonna have some like there's like a there's like a leveling system for certain cards and everything. Like That's every card weird. has a leveling system. Yeah, it looks very interesting. I really am interested in this game. Um, yeah, there's tag duels, ranked matches, raid duels, events. It just looks very cool. There is a beta apparently, like a few, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. I want it to huh. come out like now. When's the release? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you guys okay, pal? You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've just, just been talking about Yu-Gi-Oh this whole sorry, time. Sorry, I was just uh, daydreaming about the new Yu-Gi-Oh game that's coming out. It's fine. Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. They were going to shoot us, Detective. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shut up. Thank you. I was a relief. Fucking scared to lose my non-existent life. Eh, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. See, the whole lore about Maya is that all the other Maya, the Faze, are just on a server and she just uploads their data. Is that what we went with? <laughs> they're a hive mind. Yeah, they're a hive mind. It's yeah. yeah they that. just download. They just download each other's data. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. My job here is done. Oh, oh wait a minute. No, it's not. I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon, pal. And then oh he left. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. I almost shit myself. You just you just see like his stains dribbling down his lips. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just see like a big puddle. It's like my job is done, except I have to go change my pants. Yeah, it's like my job here is done, and as he walks out, it's just <laughs> oh, God. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. I think we know who did it and who's at the bottom. The Vasquez. Somebody should get a janitor in here. Oh, that's okay. That was actually a really fast one, huh? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I think I think we're gonna finish the case today. Oh, we got a. <clears throat> There's no way with we, what is it? We've only done like an hour, so we got like what two hours? We could do. We got this. Yeah, no, it's definitely not gonna take that much time. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. I think I finally nailed my judge voice. <laughs> it's not changing anymore. Give it a minute. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Ha, I'll, I'll win this time. Somebody quiet that drum solo. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. 
Misty Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. She also has ties to the Mafia. So you know what to do, Judge. <laughs> Judge just pulls out a revolver. I understand. <laughs> I understand. The Yakuza will win this day. <laughs> oh. It's the Yakuza versus the Mafia. <laughs> oh my god. Will the witness state her name and occupation? Dave Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. Maybe you've heard of it? How could we not have heard of it? We're doing a case about it right now. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Don't back sass me, bitch. I dislike needless banter. Beta cuck. Beta fuck boy. I stomp out little bitches like you for breakfast. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Oh, that sound effect. It's like he's losing HP or he's been debuffed or something. What? what? No, it sounds like his dick just got soft. Oh my god. Why would you say that? Because it's what I was thinking and I don't have a filter. Oh my god. But it is true Very well, Miss Vasquez. Very true. Please give the court of the Floppy Dicks your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick. Uh, objection, Judge. I'm rock hard. What? Why are you rock hard in a courtroom? It's just how I am. Nick, get so I turned on it. by prosecutor. <laughs> I know she did it. Make her pay with her blood. Make her pay? Should we get a penny nickel up here? <laughs> uh, right. No, no penny nickels. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down. So does B. Yeah, that, that's awkward now that we were talking about. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's a how does the game just instinctively know what we're talking about? And it has the perfect response. I entered the trailer uh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. I can't go very far because of my smoker's lung. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all... <laughs> nope, can't do it. Still floppy. I have a question about one part of your testimony. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was the real dialogue and you were done. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of clicked on it. I was like, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> if that was... <laughs> oh my god. If the judge fucking said that in an Ace Attorney game, I would die happy. It would be great. <laughs> Is there Ace Attorney game 18 plus? Oh my god, I wish. It's one of those it's like one of those shitty hentai games on Steam. Oh my god. I mean, there's probably like a fan made game out there, right? Like I feel like this would be a pretty easy thing to have a fan made game of. Yeah, probably. And D Vasquez is probably very prominent in it. Okay. <laughs> you were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Mm -hmm. There's a van at Studio 2. Didn't you see it while we were flashbacking during my testimony? Look, it's right there. How did you not see that? Oh my god. I think he's I a actually blind. 
I had him take me in that. Ah, uh, hello, Hina. You're here for the... I don't know what this is, but you're here for it. I thought it might be risky to walk. What was that monkey head toppling over? Monkey head is a euphemism. A euphemism. 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 Yeah, I just like saying euphemism. Euphemism. The monkey head is a euphemism for the panius. I yes. see. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I've learned so much today. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Da 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 da. This has become a very, very 18 plus <laughs> dialogue. It is, uh, you know, the game made it, but the game met us halfway. It's not my fault. <laughs> That's true. It's not our fault. It's the game's fault. By yourself? Yes. And yes. Yes, Queen. Uh, you, and you didn't stop in <laughs> at the employee area? Uh, yes, Queen. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes, Queen. Uh, yes, Queen Slay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you're yeah. going to jail. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Girl power, you're going to jail. Equal opportunity, everyone goes to jail. Equal opportunity, everybody gets executed. Judge get her. <laughs> Bailiff tackle the woman. That's a great out of context quote. I just want to, like, I want a court parody now where it, the bailiff is literally just in a football <laughs> uniform. I know. Just, like, getting ready to tackle him at any minute. Oh my god, I saw this I saw this fucking TF2 like Gmod clip the other day where they were in a courtroom and it was like Bailiff Smack his nuts. Oh god. God imagine that happens every time you tell a lie in court. No one would ever tell a lie. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. I think we're playing a game. No. I guess we're not no, playing game. No, slaps. Are you always this uh, terse? Are you always this much of an incel? Yes. Wait, that's your line. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just going along with it. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. C come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. She's clearly not social enough for that. Stop interrupting, bitch. Hey, I do what I want. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, burn! <laughs> And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. I she called your desk little. Get wrecked. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Is this bothering you? Is this bothering you? Slam, slam, slam. <laughs> and when exactly was that? I've forgotten. I smoke out of this pipe 24-7. There is a very large hole in my brain. Maybe you could uh, try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. And you asked an obvious question, so I gave you an obvious answer. I was trying to get a little bit of nuance in here. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? Phoenix, the judge literally <laughs> just asked that question. Is it because I... an idiot. <laughs> He's literally so <laughs> stupid. Literally, literally while the judge is talking, his, the inside of his head is just... No, it's like the circus monkeys just going around. <laughs> Just banging the their little. Wheel. Oh my god. 
It's just like on the the hamster on the wheel just dies. <laughs> and he's just like, wait, what? <laughs> it means just what I said. Sorry, I was uh, thinking of something. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what, what, At 2.30, did... we took a 15-minute break. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. You yeah, got someone who can verify this? Sal. Uh, no, no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't even have time to eat a T-bone steak. Had some evidence that she proved she didn't eat that steak. Oh. I kind of wish she'd said a little oh. more. I kind of clicked past one of your lines, my bad. It's pretty hard. Uh, and I'm not talking about the case. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip that. <laughs> my, you're a female robot. <laughs> Did oh, you no. just assume my gender? Oh no, we're not going down this line again. Abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. We're abort. Done. <laughs> we're done. Stop saying abort. Abort. <laughs> Stop saying that. Abort. Abort. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there like a... Uh, what, what do we do here? Why are you assuming? Um, you know, sometimes you just assume. And you make an ass out of you and me. <sighs> mm, what do we do here? It's uh, Studio 1. But you went to Studio 2. What? I think... I think I know. Wait, no, I didn't mean to crack. I meant to hit tab. Do you do the monkey at that one? No, the thing, no, the the crazy. part where she, the part where she talks about eating the steak. It, yeah, but what do I, do I do the you, steak photo there? Yeah, the, uh, the plate. Yeah, because hers was clear. I understand what I need to do here, but I was wondering if this would actually work. Ha! As I thought. Thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. <laughs> What's this now, Mr. Wright? She doesn't eat meat. She's obviously a vegan. Look oh, at this. Well, nobody can trust a vegan. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you could see, a large bone was been left behind. I didn't say any of those words right. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? You're getting a T-bone later, Edgeworth, if you don't shut the fuck up. You're the bottom in this relationship, not me. Exactly my point. I mean... <laughs> Remember, if you will, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manila at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. What? <laughs> Ms. Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You, you ate the bones. You yeah. ate the bone. You but inhaled it. <laughs> Okay, I gotta click these. I want to know what they say. <laughs> you ate the bone too. Um, Nick, are you sure about that? I mean, I love steak, but even I don't eat the bone, and I'm a robot. Hey, I don't eat it either. Mr. Wright, I too leave the bone. Uh, can I try that again? I think I know how. Elementary, you were eating a boneless steak. Mr. Wright. Say you are right. What would that prove? Um, right, your honor. Nick, you're a fucking idiot. I just a bit. <laughs> Remember her testimony. 
She said she ate a T-bone steak. She said bone. Yeah, but there were a lot of bones being thrown around here, you know? Correct, I was testing you. Start thinking with the right head, Nick. Sorry, can I try that one more time? I think I know how. <laughs> I just chose the other one again. <laughs> you, you ate the bone, didn't you? <laughs> you I know you bone. liked it. I know you I know did. You love bones. I know you're part dog. <laughs> you, <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of. I don't know why I'm thinking of Wolverine with that, with that mm -hmm. voice. Yeah, you know Wolverine, Phoenix Strike, They're the same person. If you think about it. I know. You ate the bone, didn't you, bub? Didn't you, bub? I didn't watch that new... Uh, that, I was going to say Phoenix Knight. That new uh, Wolverine movie that was apparently really good. There was a new one? New-ish. It was like the last five years or something. Oh, okay. The, the oh, one yeah, with like him the and one his where he's, the one where he's like or old. something. Yeah, the yeah. old one. I didn't watch that one. I heard that one was really good. But anyway, yeah, you didn't need any bone during that break. <laughs> <laughs> you took your steak and threw it somewhere like the incinerator. Shit. They're gonna know I'm a vegan. I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Sucking and fucking. I mean, murder. <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <laughs> oh my god. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Wow. The, the, the zero hesitation. Just, it, just, just had shoot. I mean, it's true. Let's be honest. It's just a zero hesitation. M for mature. No, this is E for everybody. We're like the animal planet. Or what was it? Is that what it's called? Animal planet? Uh, animal planet or Discovery yeah. Channel was another one. Yeah, they showed animals having sex on that. One of we could show documentaries. Yeah. We could show anime characters having sex. It's fine. People are animals. Thing. Exactly. You can watch some fuck. Are you saying we yes, can you're watch on. them fuck? <clears throat> also, Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the steel samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. <laughs> Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, cuck? You see the back, uh, a backflip. He's <laughs> 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 just back there just trying to do a celebratory backflip. He's, he just falls on his back and like breaks his spine. Ah, my back. <laughs> you say I did it. Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. She has like some crazy eyes. Like they really drew in her uh, iris circle. But it's the same color. Oh yeah. I didn't even notice that. Makes it look real creepy. <laughs> And a day no, that squeeze. I, I know I was I was noticing. I was more so noticing like the half closed bedroom eyes. No. Yeah, Good luck, Nick. For. Let's say. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yeah, the samurai spear. Yes. Trying to hold back on innuendos. What? Wait, what? I'm trying to hold back on that innuendo right there. <laughs> the samurai spear. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that spear has murdered me so many times. Oh, God. Abort. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How can I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Can you even smoke in court's trombus? This is Japanese court, of course. This is anime court. <laughs> Pretty much anyone would. It's actually a uh, fake smoke. It's just uh, a one of those like play 
Sherlock pipes. You ever see one of those and it just like spews out bubbles instead? Oh, I thought you were going to say it was like a vape. Okay, yeah, it's a vape pen, actually. Yeah, Fucking no, she's a vapors. vegan. She's a vegan and a vapor. Oh, God, well, the worst combination. I bet she rolls around on her Razor scooter. Oh, my God. I hope, it, I hope it swings around and hits her in the shin. God, that was... The, I actually had a Razor scooter when I was a child. <laughs> when I was a child, there's a difference. And I got hit in the shin so many times. Like... Way too much. Those shit, those things fucking hurt. You experience a fate worse than death. Yeah, I feel like every time I rode it, like four times at least, I'd get hit in the shins. I feel like my shins are so strong because I broke them a lot when they just got hit by that thing over and over. Got like karate shins. <clears throat> yes. However, that has <laughs> no. Shins? Yeah, don't you know that? Like, they break their shins. They do micro fractures to strengthen the bones when they heal back. I did not know that. Yeah, they do that. It's really fucked up. Yeah, it sounds it. No, it's like apparently it's so small that it doesn't hurt, but like they break it like little, like little tiny like fractures and stuff in the shins, and then like they get stronger so they can like you know, not break when they hit people's skulls or something. I don't know. It's really interesting, though. However, oh, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. It's gotta be this, weapon. right? Way up in. Uh, maybe? Oh, or it might be the spear. I'm not sure. I don't think it would be the spear. I think it would be this. Because this is the only thing that really proves that you could something else probably happened there. No, but do I, show, I don't think you would use that evidence yet, would you? It doesn't. Mm, I'm going to use it. I don't know. Nope. Wrong, you Mr. Fucked up, Mr. Right. Damn it. No. It's Mr. Wrong. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know that when you're going to present the wrong evidence. Yeah, that's a burn right there. <laughs> he presents wrong evidence so much. I think I can sense it too with the blood I borrowed. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sense and right. Okay, here's your real evidence. I can prove. Okay, it was the... That's so confusing. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not it so fast. It is, it is, it really, really is. Shut up, Edgeworth, you bitch. <laughs> Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through, but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Hello. Now tell me. God, I'm already hearing her in my head. Get her out. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to step a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? I'll see you in your nightmares. <laughs> oh, God, not again. Order. Order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Um, <laughs> 1970s BMW. Oh, I was gonna say something much worse. Okay, we'll skip that. Wait, wait, no. Now I want to know. No, 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 no. Well, at least type it to me. <laughs> no, I was gonna say something bad, like this school. Oh. Like driving into a school or something, like. Oh, trash. okay. Okay, it's bit fine. of a <laughs> bit of a stretch, but okay. I don't know. He said driving at, and I was thinking, you know. A school bus. I'm, I'm driving at the. I'm driving this play. <laughs> I know. Okay. I wasn't gonna go that far. Let's uh, continue on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Think about what your silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. God, such a fucking Karen. She really is. <laughs> Are you quite sane? You can't make jokes like that. It's 2022. 
It's 2022. You can't make jokes like that. It's too offensive. Are you even aware of what you're saying? Honestly, half the time, that? it just comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't yeah, even no, think about it. Actually. If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? Yes. <laughs> yes? Oh. <laughs> Absolutely you could. You're kind of an idiot. Hey. I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. My Mr. Wright. <laughs> Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. It's got to be this, right? Look at this photograph. It makes Every me laugh. Time I do, it makes me laugh. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order. Order in the court. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. It seems like you could just rile up everybody and just have a, your trial suspended pretty easily then. Yeah. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? And why do you keep slapping your paper? <laughs> I like the way it feels. <laughs> I'm using the back hand, it doesn't count. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it, you dumb bitch. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? That was a man? And he's dead? No, he's just act he's just a really good actor, Edgeworth. What do you think? Are you being sarcastic with me right now? I swear to God, I will fuck you. Uh, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> what was that, Edgeworth? That couldn't hear your mumbling. Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Dun, dun, dun. Holy shit. Mr. Wright, please continue. I can't take my eyes off of this action. It's too... Hey, wait. What? 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 Jesus fucking Christ, please. Oh, God. Um, um, I don't think they're floppy anymore. Um, It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. <laughs> Miss Devasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Pushed, pu, pu, pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Sorry, I'm getting a little winded. Just like that, Mr. Hammer himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Uh, in other words... The victim, Mr. Hammer. He died in the same way that caused another man to die. Ironic, isn't it? It's poetic. Five years ago. Not Chris, precisely. I <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> it fucking knew. It knows. Oh, ho, ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what that what I say is true. The truth and nothing but the truth. Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Tamar died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? 
How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, <clears throat> indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Um, she Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's see. She had another one? What if she had another way to carry the body other than her own hand? <clears throat> My throat. Ugh. Like with her supersonic speed. You can't tr you can't pull the wool over my eyes, hedgehog. Take that hood off. Oh wait, it's not Sonic. She's Shadow. She's <laughs> for instance. Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in fifteen minutes, and there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Um. Van. <laughs> Van. <laughs> Ms. Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the Studio Van to do it. Ah. Oh. Recall your testimony. Blah, 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 rehearsal, Studio One. I'm a valley girl. I was fatigued because I smoked so much. So I had Sal take me in this stupid van. It's so ugly. I keep telling him we should have it repainted and he just never listens to me. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you used the van to carry the body to Studio One. <laughs> then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Oh, fuck me. Hold on, right. Don't forget, it was Sal Manella who that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Um, usually in answers like this, it's the other one. So I'm gonna say he wasn't. I, I'm pretty sure he was. Okay, I'm just gonna say that then. I'm pretty sure, like, he had to be. <laughs> of course, Sal Manella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. They burned away all the blood. <laughs> all the blood. Miss, well, Ms. Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? It means you look like a fucking idiot. Hey, that's just hurtful. Humph. I'm gonna cry. I lose, you win. I win this and time! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was fun. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Why are you pumping your fists in the air? I win! <laughs> um, so, what happens next? Don't question Mark me, don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that. I just said that. God, you stupid men just never listen to me. But wait, so you mean D, D Vasquez, so is you? You killed Jack Hammer? Who can say? Uh, I, I think you can say. Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright. We just engaged like in a battle of wits. Like she just like snapped her neck right there real quick. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> and the result of that battle, you prove the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. 
proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What, 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 what? But, what? but they usually just say they did it after this point. I never needed proof. <laughs> Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh... <laughs> of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. Question mark. Edgeworth isn't sure. You know, he, he just said she did it. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Erk, what do I do now? <laughs> I, I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Um, you win this time. You'd ask, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Don't you understand that the court is the, the whole point of the court is to waste time? Damn. Damn. Wait, oh, so, such language. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, God, my ears. That's what I I'm apologize. To come so far only to fail. That's what I'm here for. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross examination of the very guilty witness, Miss Vasquez. Oh! Oh, the music is bopping. Not so fast, you vegan bitch. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question <laughs> while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> that's so, that's, I would have framed that, if this, like, screenshot. <laughs> this is my NFT, no one steal. I, <laughs> I didn't. I, I really just... Wasted all my thoughts on calling her a vegan bitch. It was a good insult. It was a good insult, Edgeworth. Screenshot at you, well. son of a bitch, Trombass. That's my NFT. You can't screenshot. No steal. <laughs> Your NFT. My NFT. Objection. <laughs> 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 Your Honor, I came up with something else. <laughs> I request that the witness testify again. Uh, prosecutor, aren't you the prosecutor? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, your honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth. I, too, see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Well, yes, um... Indeed, verily, I say. Ergo. Uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. I love after Edgar. they found the body? <laughs> He's so you know. good. <laughs> what? What is going on in this courtroom right now? Very well. I, I believe this is what they call a kangaroo court. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Humph. Nick. Why did Edgeworth? Oh, do I finally get to talk in this whole sequence? Uh, who knows? <laughs> he probably realized she did it too. 
But, but, he's a fucking asshole. Wasn't he the one that always gets the kill? Now that was the line. You didn't, ha you didn't have to read that. No, that was the line. <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. Fuck him. After all that. Edgeworth. 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 What? what is, he in a, is he in a massage chair? <laughs> exactly. Edgeworth. <laughs> this is not good on my throat. Okay. You have one character and they barely say anything. <laughs> And it's great, but when I do talk, it hurts. I have to switch between all of these just on the fly. But you're a professional voice actor. I am not even an amateur. Thank you. I was with Sal and Albag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying, He did it! That was a good impression. Thank you. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Injection. Then I went home. You didn't have the script, what? Oh yeah. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. Gross. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is all just a massive innuendo. It has to be. It's just very, very obvious. We're so close. She's trying to act tough, but if you put her on the spot, <laughs> the G spot to be exact. No, okay, we're going. Okay, find the find key. The no, key you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, right? <laughs> no, it's all one innuendo. No, 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 no. No, I was with yeah, 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 yeah. The sister was there too. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this. The script in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script to notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why is that? Why? There was a murder after all. But Forehead. This is so... You're just stupid at this point. You're stupider than me. <laughs> Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well. Ms. Vasquez, Wait. please continue. Wait, yeah, please, someone. Thank you, the smart guy. <laughs> Your Honor. God, I was getting frustrated. I have I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Think, Phoenix, think. Think. What will you have after 500 years? <laughs> I'll have you, Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah. Candace. Get this nuts fit in your mouth. <laughs> have you seen that? I have not. I have no idea what you're talking it's a, about. It's literally, it's literally the think mark think quote. But then instead of saying I'll have you, he says Candace. Oh, and then he goes and into says, these nuts. Candace. Candace dick fit in your mouth. And then he starts <laughs> punching him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want to see that now. <laughs> that sounds great. I'll see, I'll see if I can find it. Please do. Please. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. <laughs> oh, Thank fuck you. me. Thank you. There's one smart person in this courtroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? 
I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Humph. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of a court is this? Oh a very God. homosexual one. You're goddamn right, Phoenix. No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. But... Wait a second! But it was... it was Will Powers that was injured. Wait, how do I... how do I object but to she... that? Do I have to press it, I guess? Uh, maybe the photo? How did you know about the injury? Uh, how did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg this. <laughs> God damn it, Dave. <laughs> You're not making this easy. Oh my God, I love it. Objection. Objection. You knew that hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? What? Oh my god. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through this that morning. And that person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. I bet you want him to hammer you, huh? I mean, what? Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Oh, don't worry, honey. That was part of the blackmail several times. I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manila was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Ms. Vasquez. I would I no, wait I should have clicked on that one. I was I'm really curious now what he was gonna say. Actually you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manila. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Oh! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered! Exactly. Ms. Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness. These nuts. Can you refute this clay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, vast squeeze. Very well. I have a question for you. Hey, we do the question in here. Irk. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Life insurance. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there was a reason, it is unclear to this court. Is this so they wouldn't do children shows anymore? Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? 
In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Okay, I have proof and I have show it to you. <laughs> I presented the court evidence as the Ms. Vasquez's motive in this murder. We don't have what 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 do I um the monkey. It was the monkey. It told <laughs> the her monkey. to do it. The monkey told her. This one? The monkey's the murderer. I do this one? Or this one? Uh maybe that one. Maybe this I one. Maybe that one. This is my photograph. It makes me laugh. This is the photo from before. The photo from before? Oh, that was Stop your line. Stealing my line it, was, it was a good line. I wanted it. I deserved <laughs> it. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Ms. Vasquez? Five years ago. What is that thing right there? Is that like a... What is that? I've never noticed that. I have no <laughs> idea. It's not in the other, like, anywhere else. What is that? Like a scoreboard, maybe? Because they're playing tennis? I don't get it. I have, I have no idea. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame with the Vasquez's help. A terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. <clears throat> Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Of course. Mr. Wright? Could you be a useful man? Not for you, Judge. Could I be D. Vasquez's next useful man? Shut up, Judge. The big boys are talking. Okay. okay. Hey, that was my line. Allow me to present the court proven Miss V. Um. Um. The, the steak. The steak. You killed him for the steak. Um. Uh, should I have said no motive? I don't. This? I, I yeah, I think so. Uh, the book. This is my proof. And this tells us why Miss Vasquez wanted to kill Jack Hammer. It just proves that he's a fucking incel. Not an incel, just an idiot. Mr. Wright, stop wasting my time and get your shit together. Okay, I'm gonna do it. She had no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasky. Get back now, y'all. <laughs> what hop this time? <laughs> <laughs> two hops, two hops. Slide Charlie to the left. Born. Slide to the right. <laughs> Bring it back. Crisscross. Oh, God. Okay. All Ms. Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? Take him back. <laughs> God, it knows. <laughs> it's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Ms. Vasquez. What? What? Hello, Bedroom. <laughs> Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. 
Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the samurai steel samurai steel steel samurai costume. Uh, that's all words. The Jack Hammer wore the costume. Now keep going. You can give it. <laughs> I'm the scat man. It's gonna be about boo bop bo. I was, bo. I was more so thinking of rapper's delight, but that was Oh, too. I haven't heard that in so long. I actually don't remember how it goes. I remember like bits and pieces. Yeah, I remember like one part of it, and that's it. I see the hip hop, hop, the hip, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, the second half of what I said was all gibberish. That's the, yep, that's about what I remember. Okay, Jack Hammer wore the costume. I really lost all momentum here now. <laughs> Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way into the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had been so cruelly taking advantage of him all these years. Why is she angry? Self-defense? You wouldn't even get put into jail for that. So you did do it. You didn't do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Not. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Oh, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel, get up. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no, how could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and no, Manuel, my sweet Latina lover. <laughs> oh no. Manuel, and, uh, it, this is real. This is a really weird part of it because they never explicitly say anything, but by the reactions, you like, yeah, you, you understand get, like, the implications that he was a very useful and man to actor, her. You get like, you get you get the implicate implications. Implications. <laughs> You get the implications that they were, like, romantically involved. Yeah, you definitely do. Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! No, I think we're going to need another take of that. No! Okay, that was good. Please don't die. Please. I hadn't shown you my post. Oh god, don't say that. Congratulations. We only do innuendos here. <clears throat> you should have said my Miss Monkey. My <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Wright. You exposed my monkey. Oh god, not again. I lose again. By the way, it's pronounced Vasquez, not Vasquez. God, you're such an ignorant American. Sorry, Miss Vasquez, what did you say? I'm too busy fist pumping over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I freaking kill him. I freaking kill him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. He killed Manuel. Fuck him. He killed my lover. He killed my Latino lover. I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking see him in hell. He killed my pool boy. <laughs> that's that's a little that's a little sus. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's a little sus. <laughs> I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. 
I, I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. It was all me. This little bitch Beta would have been nothing without me. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Shut the fuck up, Edgeworth. Don't give this Beta cuck any extra credit. Hey, I deserve it. I went through yes. hell and back. Yes. Yes, you know, you're he, right. You know, he is Peter's, quite a Beta cuck, isn't he? You know how many Peter's jokes I didn't say today? You're, yes, but you said a lot of monkey jokes. Very well. Who doesn't love monkeys? This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Let's go. The text is covering my face. It's in my face. Get it out of here. It's broken through the fourth wall. That is all. This court has adjourned. Man, we didn't even get lobby number one. Nah. Not cool enough. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Have you not changed clothes since you uh, were put in prison? <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. Yeah, he's a pretty shitty person, huh? It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Tell me. Tell me. Why does Mr. Hammer want to blame me? What? Why'd you say that name? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Um, That's the I... book. The, yeah, the book. Okay. You don't get a second chance if you at this part if you screw up, so I actually want to see it. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I don't think that was your right to... I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. Of course. Now that'll be uh, $50,000. You can wire that directly to my bank account. So am I. I'm so an endless actor. Of course I could pay that. <laughs> You're you not to lowball me? Lowball? Okay, 100000 <laughs> You little best baby bitch, I'll give you one twenty-five. You'd have a hard bargain. How about one fifty? <laughs> Congratulations, WP. Oh. Oh. Eh, 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 eh. Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. Yeah, uh, about that. I think they canceled your show. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... They, they burned it. They burned the costume. Uh, is something wrong? No, of course not. Oh, Nick, Edgeworth. What's up, bitch? What's up, cuck? Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. You're not good at big talk either, huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. I win this time. <laughs> You don't waste any time gloating, do you? Never. I'm Mr. Rat. <clears throat> no, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. Oh, God. Uh, Bowers. <laughs> there it is. Ah, uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Lie. Right. Don't you ever question me on my fanboy status for the Steel Samurai. I have oh. 13 
different posed figurines in my office. Oh god, that's a, a little weird. A samurai spear. That's really weird. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am unsaddled okay. with unnecessary <laughs> feelings. No wonder everyone ships that when he says shit like this. Yeah, exactly. Unnecessary feelings. Yes. Unease and uncertainty. In Aren't those bite. kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, you big, cocky, handsome cuck you. What was that? Don't ever show your face in front of me again or I'll be forced to rip it off. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. You're gonna rip off my face? Yeah, with his face. Oh god. <laughs> this does not sound as pleasant as it should. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright. Shut up. I'm having a romantic conversation here. Was that guy your lover or something? What? Lover as if. 